Hello. In this Java tutorial, we are going to learn about the eight primitive data types that are built into Java. The first four are byte, short, int, and long. These all hold integer values, but within different ranges. The next two, float and double, hold decimals, but double has more precision. Next, boolean can hold either true or false. And finally, care or car can hold a single character. The ones we're going to focus on are int, double, and boolean, because these are among the most useful. If you're studying for the AP Computer Science A exam, these are the three that you need to know for the test. Let's start by declaring an int A and setting it equal to the whole number 3. Next, let's create a double, b, and set it equal to 3.0. The compiler knows that this is an int because it doesn't have a decimal, and it knows this is a double because it does have a decimal, even though these two values are equal. If we want, we could set b equal to the integer 3, and the compiler would know to convert this to 3.0 for a double. However, it doesn't work the other way around. If we typed in a equals 3.0, it would not know to convert it because it would fear a loss of precision. So the error we're going to get here is incompatible types, possible lossy conversion. We can make this work by using something called casting. Casting converts it to another data type. We're going to cast this 3.0 as an int, so it will cut off everything after the decimal point before assigning the value to a. We need to be careful with this because if the value were 3.999, it would cut off everything after the decimal point, and then a would equal 3. It's important to know that casting a double to an int does not involve rounding. It involves cutting everything off after the decimal. And there is our value 3. Next, let's look at a Boolean. We'll create a Boolean C. We'll set it equal to true. We could change it later, set it equal to false if we wanted. For more information on the technical details, check out this website. You can reach it by typing Primitive Data Types Oracle into Google and then choosing the first result. In our next lesson, we're going to learn about using these data types with mathematical operators. To see that lesson, click on the link in the lower left-hand corner of the screen, or to see the whole curriculum, click on the link in the lower right-hand corner of the screen.